Hello, this is uh, Dr. Jeff Brooks at the University of Tennessee Oral Maxillofacial Surgery Department. And uh, for the next couple of minutes, I'm going to demonstrate how to create a panoramic curve. There are several ways to do this, and I'm going to review a couple of the, the, uh, the ways that are most commonly used and, uh, and hope that this will help uh, improve your workflow through this software. The first way I'm going to demonstrate is uh, what's called the auto arch extraction. And the way I do this is I bring the axial reslice down to the level of the mandible. I look in the axial slice, the lower left window pane, and make sure that I can see the anatomy of the mandible in the axial slice. After that, I will select the curve I icon and select Auto Arch Extraction. So the software then generates a line, a trough that is, through the, the anatomy of the mandible with cross hatches that will allow you to, to, to navigate along the path of that line and see transaxial views in the upper left window. We can manipulate that several ways and we'll uh, review that in a separate tutorial. So I can move the transaxial slice and look in the upper left window pane and see the anatomy of interest as I travel along the, this, this arch that I've created or this line of, or curve I've created uh, using the auto extract method. So this will actually save this project, and if you look at the toolbar in the, uh, on the, uh, at the top, there will be a number one and a blue box, which represents this arch that I've created. Any project savings here, or any uh, manipulation of, uh, of, of this particular project will be saved and uh, in this, uh, this first, uh, box here. So now I'm going to create a, a, another curve. Let's assume that my uh, area of interest was in the maxilla and I wanted the arch to be uh, along the path of the maxilla. I'm going to do this manually this time. I'm going to select the curved icon, select cross section. I'm going to look in the upper right pane and I'm going to adjust the axial slice to represent the maxillary anatomy. Then I'm going to start selecting the points for the curved composition here. And I'm going to start in the upper right behind the pterygoid plates. And I'm going to start selecting points by clicking the left mouse button. Any time I need to make a directional change, I'll click the left mouse button and go along the path of the maxillary anatomy and double click at the end when I'm ready to uh, to complete that line. As you'll see these cross hatches are developed at, at, at millimeter increments along this uh, line that I can travel again by going down to the lower left pane and sliding the transaxial reslice line. I can go to the back to the posterior maxilla on the right near the pterygoid plates and I can see the transaxial view and I can continue to travel along that line to the posterior left and see the anatomy in the maxilla and travel along the path of that maxillary line. And you'll notice at the, max, at the top of the uh, toolbar a number two has been generated into this block box and that allows me to toggle back to my first project which was along the mandibular uh, arch and toggle to the maxillary panoramic curve that I created so I can travel along and, and use the anatomy uh, or look at the anatomy in the maxilla. I can change the thickness of this panoramic curve by going, clicking down here, usually picking the 15 or 20 millimeter uh, thickness, which creates uh, a, a more 
similar panoramics that we're accustomed to.